Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Porsche 911 Turbo S. Next to me is a KTM road bike. Next to that is a KTM MotoGP bike. And we're gonna have a drag race. Anyway, let me tell you about this Porsche. It's got a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six with 650 horsepower, 800 Newton meters of torque, drives all four wheels for an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. This car weighs in at 1,640 kilos and it costs from 169,000 pounds. Anyway, let's find out about the bike, the first bike, the road bike. I'm going to speak to Chris Northover from Bike World TV. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Matt, never better than when I'm sat next to you on a runway. That's because you normally win, don't you, on a bike? But you might not win today. But anyway, tell me about your bike. What is it? I think you might be right there. Today I'm on a KTM Super Duke R1290 Evo with a nice smatter of accessories from the KTM catalogue. I've got about 185 horsepower, about 185 kilos, so I'm on that magical 1,000 brake per tonne. 140 newton metres of torque, so pretty quick for a road bike. Yeah, it is pretty quick. And do you know what? Sometimes in the past when we've had people riding bikes, people like comment going, oh, they don't know how to ride the bike, but you know how to ride a bike because you've done quite a bit of racing, haven't you? I've done my fair share of racing, yeah. British Championship, European Championships. I was always pretty good at starts. Finishes, maybe not so much, but starting. <laughs> and we definitely do like to have people who know how to control the machines. That's why we've got MotoGP legend Danny Petrosa riding a Red Bull KTM factory racing RC16 MotoGP bike from the 2021 season. Danny's actually came second, didn't you, Danny, in the 2007 MotoGP, the 2010 and the 2012. So you kind of know what you're doing, don't you? <laughs> I better know what I'm doing on top of this bike. In fact, when I told my mate that we were filming with you today, he goes, oh my God, he's a legend. He's like the best rider who never actually won the championship. Bit of bad luck, wasn't it? Yeah, sometimes. I try my best and I had a few injuries and some crash in certain moments, which I, I missed the championship for a little points, but you know, it's like this racing. So anyway, Danny, tell us about your bike. Yeah, so the bike is more or less around 157 to 160 kilos, and it's about 275 horsepower. Everything is light on this bike to turn this into a beast. Yeah, and you're quite light as well. So what do you weigh roughly? I weighed, uh, well, with the, Leather and helmet and everything, I would say 62. And how about you, Chris? I think you're a bit heavier than 62, aren't you, mate? Yeah, maybe 64, 65. I've got quite a heavy set of levers on. <laughs> or maybe 80. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Danny, I think that even though your bike has more power than the KTM road bike, you're down on torque. I think it's got just 120 compared to 140 for Chris. So maybe that'll be telling. How much does it cost to do a season in MotoGP, Danny? One full season, I think it's around 30 to 40 million for two bikes to race a whole championship. Oh my God, so that bike is worth quite a lot. Anyway, if you like these kind of awesome drag races, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn the notification on. That way you will not miss a single upload. Anyway, let's do it. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we race, we're going to do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this Porsche and I know what's going to happen. That doesn't sound great. Let's have a listen to the motorbikes. Go on, Chris, rev up your KTM. I've broken it already. I haven't even been anywhere yet. Have you got the key in the ignition? Maybe ignition is off. It's a proximity key, so I'm going to walk away and walk back to it and see if that fixes it. Is that like pretending you're in a mood with it and it kind of gives it a guilt trip? <laughs> Remember earlier when you're taking the piss out of me for the car's not working and the bikes have all been fine? That's just come and bitten you on the ass, hasn't it? This has gone full circle. Karma works really quick around here. I fixed it. You mean you turned it on? <laughs> that sounds good. V twin. <laughs> lovely, that lovely. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. Now let's have a listen to that motor GP bike. Oh yeah. That's the best sound in one. Oh yeah, anyway, if you're thinking about selling your car, click on the pop-out banner, it should be appearing just up there now, or for the link in the description below to go to CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car. It's dead simple, then you just pick the highest offer and they'll come to your house, take it away, and put the money straight in your account. It's free as well. If you want to do that at a later date, just simply Google Help Me CarWow and we will help you. 
Now let's do this race, finally. Beat both the bikes up the line. Come on, 911. Oh, here comes Danny now. Here comes Chris. No, he doesn't. One more. Oh, Danny got a good start there. Oh, he's on me quicker this time. Look at that. It is what it is. <laughs> this car's quick. That Super Duke is quick, just not as quick as this car, but that MotoGP bike is just absolutely insane. So then what exactly happened? Well, the MotoGP bike won, completing the standing quarter mile in 9.2 seconds. The Porsche finished in 10.3 seconds, and the road bike was last, crossing the line in 10.9 seconds. Ready for a rolling race? Yeah. Chris? Do you want to do a rolling race? Yeah? Yeah, that's a good new way for you all to destroy me. Uh, yeah? <laughs> okay, do you want to just come around here a second so I can see in the camera? Danny, you can be in... What gear? First gear? With you guys rolling race, I don't know. Six? What gear do you want to be in? <laughs> Whatever the best second, I reckon. Okay, you're going to be in sixth gear and I'll be in third. Actually, can you be in neutral? <laughs> <laughs> Three! Two, one, go! Chris is gone! I know he's going to have some aerodynamic issues. Can I catch him up before the half mile? He smashed me. I, I don't know what happened between him and Danny, but I'd imagine Danny won. Okay, now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Whoever stops in the shortest distance wins. It's going up to a 100. Here we are, here's 100. Full emergency stop now. Oh! <laughs> so let's see who won that. I don't put it into park. There we go. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Car wins. My God, this is close. This is close. I lost, I lost. He lost. <laughs> he, yeah. You beat Danny yeah. Petrosa. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only thing we could beat him at. Oh, wow. This stopped so well. You know, to compete with that, like, wow. Mind blown. So what do you think about that? That's impressive. Nice, very impressive. Yeah. What was your braking like? Were you happy with it, not happy with it? I know you lost, but... Yeah, not so happy, obviously, but <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> it's hard to stop these things, isn't it? Yes. I think if you're on track, sustain braking, you're going to kick the shit out of that, aren't you? <laughs> of course, if you are running and yeah. then you get the warm, warm uh, brakes and so on, warm tires, you can push more. But for a street bike, that's insane. Yeah. And that Porsche, right, is legendary for how well it stops. And to consider these bikes with their small contact patches, and that's a street bike, stopping so close to that Porsche. Well done, Chris. You're brilliant at making a bike stop. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> Do you know what? It'd be great to see some burnouts to end the video. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that craziness. Big thanks to Chris from Bike World and Danny <laughs> from Red Bull KTM Factory Racing. That was nuts. Uh, I, th I think they might have ruined their tyres so they won't be um, riding their bikes home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other mad matchups you'd like to see in the comments below. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can get a special surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to click to find out.